Welcome back to the 504. This weekend, the Art Badness Art Festival is taking place over at the Joan Mitchell Center, which is beautiful. It's celebrating art inspired by African and New Orleans culture, and it's being presented by the Axiom Gallery. Brian Brown and Courtney Co. Buckley are here with the Axiom Fine Arts Gallery to show off some of their work and to tell us about the festival. So guys, what is this all about? I understand it's the fourth year. Well, um, like you said, it's an annual event that we do every year to um, highlight our art, mm -hmm. being um, a part of Exium, mm -hmm. me, Courtney, uh, Jessica, and Ferris. All right, so your yeah. works will be displayed this yes, weekend. Yeah. Tell us what made you guys start this kind of art collective. It, it really, it happened rather naturally. Like, we hung together all the time because, you know, like we all local, so we used to run into each other on the scene a lot. So. Mm -hmm. It, we naturally just came together and just started putting shows together that we saw, you know, it was successful. People responded well to it, so we just kept it going, put a theme on it, and just, you know, just, it just grows naturally every year. Yeah. Cool. And talk about the theme. Is that the same theme every year? Yeah, we just keep it, trying to um, be mad and keep the madness going with the art, really. Just right. So there's no set theme. It's whatever you feel. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, you guys are artists. I know you don't want to talk to me. I was like, are you guys going to talk to me? They're like, we'll talk to you when you yeah, ask us about our art. <laughs> tell me about your work here. They're both yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Well, this is my piece. It's um, part of a series I have called the Jazz Stork series. Okay. So it represents basically the birth of New Orleans culture. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what the stork is about. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. And I told you it makes me want to touch it because yeah, it's got yeah. this texture in here. Kind of talk about how long it took you to put this together and what you did. Um, well, it was hours. I don't. I don't know the exact time, but... Do you, you know, sit yeah. down and do it all in one sitting? No, no, no. no, no. I have to feel like painting, really. You yeah. got to feel it. You got to feel it. And so kind of what took inspired about like this? Um, New Orleans, really. Just yeah. um, basically the, the gingerbread that we have on the, on the houses, our um, houses. Mm -hmm. the, the, the plant pots that, that we see on the porches, the music. Yeah, yeah so. I love this because he's kind of carrying New Orleans away yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Really nice. So do you have a specific theme to all the art that you'll be showing this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to have some more in the Jazz Dork series and a couple of more pieces. All right, so really great. Glad to come out and see that. And so, Courtney, let's move on to yours. I absolutely yeah. love this. It's New Orleans, but edible. That's what I'm going to call yeah. it, edible New Orleans. <laughs> do you have a name for it? Um, I, I just call them Big Eatsies. It's, oh, it's just a play cute. on words. Just yeah. The food culture and a lot of the architectural stuff. Um, the festival has really inspired these because, you know, I'm, I'm a jazz fest artist also, so just combining things that you see every day you grow up with, just, I think this is stuff that only, like, locals can think of. Like, mm -hmm. it, hits, it hits tourists the right way, and then it makes somebody who's from here look at it, you know, like, oh, you know, it's just, like, the funner side of the, some of the things I do. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely really mm -hmm. cool. So this was kind of inspired by the festival. Yeah. Do yeah. you guys like going to the festival, having people see your work and actually being yeah. able to interact with them? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I do because it gives, it gives me a chance to speak to people who don't know me. You know? Yeah. Like when people come out, of, you know, when you're home, a lot of people know about your stuff. They see it, you know, they're kind of used to it. Mm -hmm. But when people come and it's just new people from you don't know where, like I sold pieces to a woman in Australia. Mm. You know, she took my piece home with her, like, that following Monday. That's so cool. What does that feel like knowing you're selling to someone who's taking it um, literally across the world? It's, it's a good feeling. It, it just makes you want to continue, like, to see mm -hmm. how far you can go, like, wh how far everything can just reach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're really proud of what you guys are doing, just kind of bringing that artist mm -hmm. together, bringing mm -hmm. more attention to it. Yeah. Talk about how you guys started this. Did you just always love to draw when you were little and figured you would make it into your profession? Brian, what about yeah, for you? Yeah, that, that's where it started mm -hmm. from, having a passion as a little kid to want to um, draw, you know, drawing in school, mm -hmm. um, when you're not supposed to be drawing. When yeah. you're not, you were the one drawing on the desk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> but your yeah. stuff is good, so yeah. I'm sure they didn't mind. Yeah, a lot of my teachers are cool with that. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, that's okay, you know, add not, a little flair to it. being quiet, so. There you yeah. go. I can believe that part. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And Courtney, what about you? You've been drawing yeah, since you were yeah, little? Yeah, the same way since I was young. I, I mm -hmm. was drawing before I knew it was a big deal. Like, I, I thought everybody could draw until I was maybe mm -hmm. like 10, 11. Then oh, wow. Teachers and stuff started making a big deal about it. And that's when I knew it was it was something different. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah. cool. And there's, this is one of those things a lot of people in our city may be talented at and yeah. just kind of shove it to the side, yeah. like you say, yeah. and assume everyone's good mm -hmm. at it. What would you say to aspiring artists who are watching this going, I'd really love to be an artist and put my work out there? I would say if you if you feel you can do it or if you feel good while you're doing it, don't worry about the the pretty picture all the time. Mm -hmm. Just get express yourself, 
have fun and eventually you'll develop something that you like and maybe other people respond well to mm -hmm. it. Really yeah. cool. Well, we love yeah. your work, love what you're doing with yeah. it. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Thank that you. Art Madness Art Festival, mm -hmm. so you can support the guys, is Saturday at the Joan Mitchell Center. That's at 2275 Bayou Road. It starts at 6 p.m. and it is free. Well, how do Mini Bray's short rib taco bites sound? Delicious, right? The Midnight Snack is getting an upgrade when we come back.